You know, it's funny what you just said, a couple of things. One, when you talk about the uh, older population that we have, you know, they refer to things as not hypertension, but high blood. And then diabetes is sugar. You know, so when when you look at my, my, you know, my grandmother, my mom, you know, I I had the premise of, you know, being a diabetic. I meant your sugar was all messed up, but it wasn't a diabetic. You you, you had sugar problems. Yes, yes, sure. Um, So for me, it was like, okay, that's 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 funny. But looking at how we eat and and what we eat and, and that was something very important that you said is like understanding, you know, what this food is doing to you, you know, what common can we say diseases, chronic diseases come from having high blood blood pressure and, and what that does to the body. So can you kind of further explain, you know, what some of the other chronic diseases can result from having high blood would be? Okay. All right. Excellent question. Excellent question. So yeah, so high blood pressure is what we call a silent killer. It's um, a lot of the, 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 the things that happen because you have high blood pressure, you know, they don't typically happen immediately. They happen over time, typically years or even decades sometimes. Um, and what they cause is something called end organ damage where, you know, uh, where, where a particular organ will over time get, get, get damaged from that. And so the organs that, that typically are really affected by, uh, by high blood pressure over time are, you could think head, heart, kidneys, those three things are, 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 um, are some of the big ones. So head, you're getting strokes, heart, you're getting heart failure or enlarged hearts, uh, and then kidneys, you're getting kidney failures. So those are the three areas that you really worry about uh, with long-term uncontrolled hypertension. Um, and so that's one of the reasons why it's really important to get that um, high blood pressure under control because you can either minimize or eliminate that ri- the risk of having those sort of uh, diseases uh, if you can get that blood pressure under control. Um, and it-